And we're going to see how he does his blogging uh, every day. <coughs> okay. So okay, this is my blog page. So he does this and shortcut. And I use Safari in campus because it's really fast. Right. And then it's really easy for all the web page just to maintain. They're all on tabs with mm -hmm. numbers, so it's right. As you can see, there's tabs. Yeah. It's easy to call up. Right. So I want to put in uh, something Kelvin has told me about a site called Coda. Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. new app. So just go to panic.com. Panic.com Coda. And Coda is this app. It's an all in one uh, web development okay, well, app. Let me get. Yeah, step and drag is. Okay. Okay. So I, I just want to bookmark this because I'll look at it later. Right. And the easiest way to do it is just grab it. So that's snap and drag. And then I'll strap and drag. And then he goes down. I like to. to sometimes converter. I need to tidy up the image. Right. So I do a clumsy grab and then I can just tighten up. Um, and if I need to color or shade and all that, uh, Graphic Converter does it. It's right. not too complicated, so it's easy for me to use. And so Command K, yeah, right? Uh, Command Y to trim it. Okay. And then I save as. I always save dumb stuff on the desktop. Okay. And then I'll save it at. Uh, 75% and then I have drag thing so it calls up the desktop in one stroke and I drag the file to the sidebar where I have a droplet which goes straight up to my FTPs to my site so they'll be working in the background okay as you can, as you can see. see over there so in the meantime what I'll do is I'll go to text wrangler where I say Coda, I insert an image and Okay, so you got the file name everything yeah, there and you got text wrangler yeah. um with all text the keyboard or oh, text expander, yeah. yeah. Expand out the thing. Yeah. And then I need a web. So I love Safari because every time if the URL is missing you just type command L it reappears. Mm. And now the browser does that. Yeah. Insert it here and then I save it direct to the server. So this will be under Mac and the internet. Now what I do is I use the same file name as the image. So okay, I've lost the file, but I have copy paste. So oh, that's a multiple copy and paste. Yeah, that's app, a right? multiple clipboard. What's it called? Uh, copy paste. It's called copy paste. Yeah, okay. I mean there, there's a free version right. called Jump Cut which okay. you can use, and then I just call it up and I save. So now you can go back to my blog. It's there. Right. And one so click it's fast. And you reach the page. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So that's um, that's blogging using this engine combination which of is tools. Base of origin base of Blossom, Page Be Awesome, and then finally some is done. So he just Bernard Teo is a fellow Mac addict and he gave me a HTML uh, version that I can just edit. Right. And so this is his, this is what it probably originally looked like and this is what I've messed it up into. <laughs> and the way I do that is um, within Text Wrangler, I just have to, uh, if I go to my blog, um, it's one layer above the document files. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so the document files, each of this is a category and each file within the category is a blog post. Mm -hmm. So if I go two levels up, the default template, this is right. my web page. So you know this this is grayed out stuff. I was trying snatch grid. Right. Didn't like it so turned it off and yeah. so it's all here. So if I want to insert something maybe after tiny URL I just find tiny yeah, and then yeah. I can insert something. So, um, well, let me try. So, one of the things about this is that it's very easy to back up then. 
because it's all just plain text files. Yeah, there's, and, no, uh, there's no database or anything. Yeah, it's no database. It's it's just quick to use. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so here you have testing. Right. Yeah, and oops, sorry, that was testing, and it's really easy to to use. Of course, the and you're writing directly to the server, so it's very fast. And it's dangerous. Which is also dangerous. Um, but, you know, I'm not really a geek, but it's turned out to be pretty fast. So, <laughs> what I did is I adopted it for uh, Habitat News. Yeah. So, you can see it's essentially the same thing. Okay. Yeah, and if you follow the links on the sidebar, it goes back to some of that. Okay. Uh, but I've never had anyone try it. And then, um, Raffles Museum News. So I've hardly changed the way I designed the block. I just changed the color mm -hmm. and make it distinct enough. I'm actually going to change Raffles Museum News to dark blue, okay? Because they all look alike, <laughs> and uh, it's been it's probably the fastest way to one of the fastest ways to set up a block. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. I thought I recognized one.